what's up? Can you see my reflection in the shiny screen? I'm Noah from Phonog.com. What's going on? And uh, we're going to take a look here at my favorite iPad game thus far. This is Mirror's Edge uh, from EA Mobile. And I'll tell you what, I, uh, I'm not a huge gamer, you know. I, I like games, but I'm not a big console gamer, so there are plenty out there who know way more about gaming than I do. I know Mirror's Edge was a console game. I've seen it demoed briefly on uh, consoles before or PC or I see I don't even know what I'm talking about right but I'd never really played it before so I can't compare it with the other versions but I can tell you that uh, I'm really I think it's great on iPad it's 10 bucks so on the one hand it's not cheap for you know an app those of you coming from the whole you know iPhone iPod touch app experience but on the other hand compared to buying a console game or a PC game 10 bucks is pretty cheap right so, you know, you can do the multiplayer, you've got different game modes, you can play speed run and just play one chapter at a time, that kind of thing. Uh, you've got your settings screens, your tutorial text color, you've got your, you know, your options for music and sound effect volume. Go in your extras, you've got your badges, uh, wallpapers you can, uh, you can use there, leaderboards, so you can go online, there's your, uh, your speed runs for the different chapters and that kind of thing. Um, and you can actually race against a ghost on those, you know, to, to kind of race against the different leaders. Uh, you've got badges that you can earn. So you can see here, I'm terrible. I've only earned uh, one badge, I think, so far. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, oh, no, I got a second one. I got the gravel rash. Sweet. Oh, yeah, I beat an enemy. All right, I got like four or five badges. All right, that's cool. But, uh... We'll go back here to play, and basically what you're doing, we'll start a, uh, if I start a new game, is that going to discard my old game? Yeah, I don't want to do that. So I'll show you from where I am. Don't start a new game. Uh, but you're Faith, you're this uh, messenger who runs messages around in this crazy new, you know, apocalyptic uh, world. You, you know the drill with the whole, you know, apocalyptic visions of the future. And so in this particular level that I'm on, I have to return to the hideout. And what's cool about this game is, you know, the graphics and the sound and everything I think are great. I think the game looks great. Hopefully you're not getting too much glare on the screen there. But the gameplay is just very intuitive. You're using, you know, tapping and swiping and gestures to run and to do the different maneuvers and to, to jump and, and everything. So I'm kind of, you know, you can swipe anywhere on the, on the screen you want. Uh, but I'm, I'm using my thumbs over on the two sides because it's kind of intuitive. Oh, I just got knocked out. See, I'm not that good anyway, but then also trying to do this while I'm talking. Um, so I'm running, and I'm going to do a little slide maneuver to take this guy down. I'm going to climb up to the uh, the next level here. I'm going to try to, and I'll do it from this side. Oh, man. See, I am so bad at this. Clearly, I'm better than, than I'm showing you because, well, I can be this bad. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to take this guy out with a flying... Oh, there I am. I'm going to take this guy out with a uh, nothing. <laughs> so you swipe to run, and then you can swipe up and down to do different maneuvers, jumping and sliding and what have you. And then there are combinations of things you can do. So if I can get myself to get up, there we go. And now I'll go and I'll do a jumping, or no, I won't because there's no room. I'll slide again. And then you can kind of, you know, jump up the, the side there with multiple gestures. Now I'm up on top here running. And you can wall ride a little bit there. And it's cool how the action kind of slows down into like that matrix bullet time mode. When you do different maneuvers, you can swipe down to slide. Uh, when you come off of a thing, you're supposed to roll there when you come off a high jump. That's right. Got a little, uh, the bag there that I, I should try to get is like a little bonus there to get the bag. See that bag that's hanging up there? I'm not going to get it, though, because I'm not that good. We'll go up here. We'll uh, ride on the board there and do a roll. Take the guy out. And we'll do a little slide here to take the... Oh, no, I didn't slide fast enough, and the police guy took me out. And so basically, you're just trying to get through these levels. You know, it's a platformer game. You're getting through the levels, and then there are, uh, you know, on the levels, there are different... All you really have to do to get to the next level is clear the level, but then there are different things you can do, like getting the bags and your time through the level and all these different challenges to unlock those badges. And uh, it's really just, it's, it's a lot of fun. And I'm finding that there's something 
that's kind of very futuristic about playing this game on this device. Uh, it's only widescreen mode. It doesn't work in the landscape mode. But, I mean, in the uh, portrait mode, it's landscape mode only. But I don't know. There's just uh, I'm just really, I think it's really cool. I think the, the music's great. Uh, it actually sounds fairly good coming through the speakers, playing through headphones. It sounds better. And, uh, you know, it, it, it takes you back when you pass the little satellite dishes. That's your, your checkpoint, and it'll take you back to that place in the level next time. Um, so if you're like me and you're just not very naturally inclined to be good at any video games other than the uh, arcade classic Zookeeper, um, you know, you can just pick up right where you left off, which is really nice because I, I tend to do a lot of that. So let's see if I stop talking for a minute and concentrate if I can get anywhere here. I know I should have slid on that one. Nah, I was supposed to have landed there. I hurt myself. I didn't roll when I landed. Ah, no, you got me. All right, so there you go. We'll go back to the beginning here. There we go. Swipe down to pause. And uh, go to my options here. Go to help. So there's your little... Your, uh, your little gesture, swipe two fingers down to pause, there's running, swiping left to right, tap the screen to stop, sliding, jumping up from sliding, jumping, rolling, wall run, wall climb, boost jump, high jump, I should really read this, and uh, <laughs> you got zip lines on some of the things, you know, you can balance, you're doing your skidding and ramp sliding and stuff, and then different combat moves, click badges, shortcuts, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and read those directions, but, uh, Mirror's Edge for iPad from EA Mobile, 10 bucks. So far, uh, this is my favorite game for iPad that I've tried so far. I think it's really fun. I think the graphics are great. It looks great. It sounds great. It feels great. And again, there's just something about the vibe of the game combined with the device itself that feels like they're just meant for each other. So there you go. Uh, you know what? If, if you know the, uh, the console game or the PC game, chime in here. Tell me what you think, you know, based on this. And if you've played this and you like it or you hate it, chime in in the comments. Let us know why, all right? I'm not saying go buy it. I'm saying this is what it looks like, and I think EA did a great job, and there you go. Much, much more on the iPad, the iPhone, whatever else comes next, Android tablets when they come out, NVIDIA Tegra tablets, you know, mobile tech. We got you covered as best we can over on PhoneDog.com and also today's iPhone.com. Till next time, I'm Noah. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.